In the realm of historical fiction, the depth of research required is truly fascinating, especially when it comes to ensuring accuracy in depicting the Old West. One aspect that often piques my curiosity is the cost of everyday items during the latter half of the 1800s. Have you ever wondered what things might have cost in the Old West? Unlike today, where a trip to the local grocery store can easily result in spending over $100 without much thought, the pricing dynamics of 150 years ago offer a captivating glimpse into a different economic landscape. Join me on this exploration as we delve into the costs of various goods and commodities from the intriguing era of the Old West. Here I present a selection of everyday grocery items and their prices from various years in the past. It's important to note that these figures are sourced from different references, and variations in costs could have been significant based on the specific regions within the country. During the Old West era, the cost of essential grocery items varied across different years. A barrel of flour, a staple in many households, ranged from $4 to $8. Cornmeal was priced at just a few cents per pound, while a barrel of salt pork could cost anywhere from $9.25 to $19.75. Beans, a common source of protein, were available for approximately $0.8 to $0.13 per quart. Molasses, a sweetener, had a price range of $0.25 to $0.50 per gallon. Other items like rice, starch, sugar, roasted coffee, oolong tea, and lard had varying costs, reflecting the economic nuances of the time. It's worth noting that these prices were not uniform and could significantly differ based on the region and local economic conditions. It's interesting to observe that in the aftermath of the Civil War, 1861, 1865, and the subsequent five to seven years, the prices of many common grocery items experienced an increase, only to gradually decrease a decade or more later. This period marked a distinct economic shift, and it's notable how our modern convenience in shopping for ready-made clothing across various styles and price ranges contrasts with the practices of the late 1800s. Unlike today, where we have the luxury of walking into stores like Walmart or Nordstrom, people during that time often engaged in the craftsmanship of making their own clothing, a practice much less common in contemporary society. Between the years 1860 and 1882, acquiring a yard of brown shirting material would have set you back around 0.08 to 0.09 cents. For ticking, a durable fabric commonly used for linens, the cost would be in the range of 17 to 18 cents per yard. If you desire the polished look of satinette, a cotton fabric resembling satin, you'd be looking at a price tag between 54 and 59 cents for a yard. It's important to note that these costs only covered the material, and if sewing wasn't within your skill set, you'd likely incur additional expenses by employing the services of a tailor or seamstress to bring your garment to life. In the Old West, the ranching and horse-centric culture had its heartbeat in livestock and the essential gear required for their use. The price tags on these animals and their associated equipment were as follows. A calf could be purchased for around $2.50 per head. For a yearling, the cost would be approximately $12.50. A two-year-old steer would set you back $22.50. If you were in the market for a bull, the going rate was $90. A yoke of two oxen, ideal for tasks like pulling wagons, would run you about $150. An average workhorse suitable for farm or ranch work would also be priced at $150. If you sought a high-quality saddle horse, be prepared to shell out around $200. Harnesses for oxen or workhorses would cost in the vicinity of $50. Depending on the type, a saddle would range between $30 and $60. For those eyeing a wagon, the expected expenditure would be $70 or more. In the 1800s, having a gun was a practical necessity if you wanted to put food on the table. Unlike today, where grocery stores abound, offering neatly packaged, pre-cut meat ready for cooking, people of that era had to rely on hunting for sustenance. While gunplay with pistols may not have been as widespread as depicted in Western TV shows, movies, and novels, it was indeed a part of Western life. Here's a look at the costs of these essential tools of the time. A used single-shot muzzle-loading rifle came with a price tag of $8. For the more sophisticated seven-shot sharps repeating rifle, the cost was $50. Investing in a breech-loading shotgun would set you back $60. The iconic Colt 45. 
Peacemaker, credited with winning the West, could be obtained for $17 through mail order. Opting for the upgraded pearl-handled set, complete with holsters, would increase the Peacemaker's price to $100. Cartridges for these guns were priced at $0.50 per box. In that era, it's essential to consider what people earned in common Western jobs to truly understand the significance of those prices. Here's a glimpse into the salaries of typical folks in various occupations. During the California Gold Rush in 1849, carpenters in San Francisco were making a substantial $16 per day. However, by the 1860s, this figure had declined to $4 per day. Wild Bill Hickok, serving as the Marshal of Abilene, KS, earned a monthly salary of $150. Other Kansas lawmen earned $100, while deputies typically made $60 to $75 per month. Ranch hands, on average, earned $30 per month, along with room and board. Top ranch hands might command $40, and a ranch foreman could earn $50 per month. Trail bosses overseeing cattle drives sometimes made as much as $100. The average school teacher's monthly salary stood at $30. Pony Express riders during the brief period of that service earned $25 per week for their efforts and the inherent dangers they faced. In 1865, the pay scale for military personnel varied based on rank. Here's a breakdown of monthly earnings. Privates or corporals in the Army could anticipate $13 per month. Sergeants received a higher monthly pay of $17. First or second lieutenants earned approximately $105 while captains received $115. For those achieving the esteemed rank of general in 1865, the monthly pay could reach almost $760. Oh, and just to keep it genuine, a soiled dove could expect $1 to $2 per roll in the sheets. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the fascinating tales of the American Old West. If you enjoyed this exploration of history, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming stories. Your support keeps these tales alive.